Hey everyone, I'm Nick from Coffee Before Art, and in this episode of C++ Crash Course, we're going to be talking about you know, how we navigate uh, using GDB, right? how we navigate when we're debugging our programs. And to do that, we're going to be starting out by looking at a very simple program, which is just your classic Hello World program, right? but this will suit for our purposes. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's talk about compiling. right? So when we compile this, uh, we'll use something a little bit different. We'll use the dash G flag, right? And the dash G flag will generate some debugging information that GDB will use. So, you know, generally when we're debugging application, we'll use dash G, right? We want hello.cpp, and then we'll compile the rest as normal, right? So if we run it, we see there's hello world, but how do we enter debugging mode, right? So we can go ahead and do GDB on dot slash hello, and this will start uh, us in debugging mode. And if we want to get to the beginning of the application, we can just do start, right? And this will put a breakpoint at the beginning of our application, so at main. So now you see we're at main, and if we go ahead and let's repaint the screen, and we go ahead and do list, we get you know a, a list of our program. So this isn't terribly useful, and that's mainly because we don't really know where we are, what's going on. So if we really want to know where we are, we can enter uh, the text user interface mode, and we do that using uh, control X and then one. Right, so now we get you know a highlighted portion of where we are in our program, and we can navigate you know up and down in our program. Right, uh, and you can see if we go ahead and type next, right, we'll go ahead and move down, and we'll move uh, you know we're on the next uh, command in our program now. So you know what else can we do? This still doesn't give us necessarily all the information we want, so we can go ahead and you know cycle through a couple different modes, right? So we can go ahead and do Control X, and then uh, two. Right, and now we get this uh, split mode where we can see here's our assembly, right? And then here is our uh, main application up here, right? So now we have a split screen of both um, the assembly and the source code in C++. And, you know, we can do control X2 again, and we can even get uh, the registers as well, right? So if we go ahead and say call next here, we can see, you know, where we move down and we can see what registers have changed once we uh, go ahead and move down to the next command, right? Which that can be very useful in debugging, right? And if we want to go ahead and call next again, right? So we start moving down our program. We see that, you know, a reliable way to kind of mess up debugging is to go ahead and print something out. So you can see hello world got printed out there. We don't necessarily want that, but we can just repaint the screen using control L and it'll go ahead and repaint everything and get rid of that printed out text to standard out, right? And we can do control X right and one again we can get out of there right and we can control x uh, two right and we can cycle through there right and we can go ahead and exit out again using control x and then uppercase a right and that'll take us out but we enter that using control x and then you know say one right and that'll take us to this view and we can even do it from the command line so we can say layout source and it will take us to our source layout or we can say uh, layout um, assembly, right? Oops. So if I do control P, that'll take me to the previous command, All right? So I actually want layout assembly, right? And that'll take us to our assembly version. Likewise, you can do say layout regs and it'll take you to the registers you can, or you can even go to the floating point registers if you want to. So that's the basics of how we kind of move around and how we use a text user interface to really track you know, what's changing and what's going on within our program when we're debugging. Now in the next episode, what we'll go ahead and do is we'll look at how to debug a segmentation fault and show how we can use custom commands inside of GDB in order to you know, figure out what's going on, you know, what value is going ahead and being changed and kind of run our program in reverse to figure out when was a particular value changed. But that'll go ahead and do it for this time. So let's go ahead and exit out. So control X, case A, we can just use uh, quit and exit, right? So uh, as always, all of this code is available at github.com slash coffee before arch. So feel free to check it out here. And here we are, we're at debugging GDB concepts. And we'll have that next video out soon where we're actually debugging something and not just working with the debugger. But that'll go ahead and do it for this time. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.